Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to set up a closed loop integration between CineQ and MailerLite so that you can generate and send out personalized videos using MailerLite. There will be three sections that we're going to cover. First, we're going to take a look at how to create custom fields and construct your emails in MailerLite. Then we'll go over to CineQ and we'll set up a trigger campaign as well as the integration itself. And then finally, we'll go back to MailerLite and create a new contact and do a test run. So let's go over to MailerLite and have a look at how to create a new custom field. So on the top, click on subscribers and then click on fields and click on add new field. This is where you can set your field name as well as the field type, text number or date and click on create that's pretty much how you set up new custom fields we already have a few custom fields set up for this particular demonstration so we're not going to go ahead and create additional ones but what i wanted to call out is the cineq purl purl stands for personalized url and as you can see the merge tag is curly bracket dollar sign cine underscore q underscore purl and curly brackets so that is very important we will need to use this one so i'm just going to copy it and let's go over to campaigns so we can have a look at how to construct your emails that will work very well with cineq generated personalized videos so let's click on edit we already created um, a sample email for this demonstration so we don't have to start from scratch but what I wanted to call out, as we can see, we just got a logo up there, some text, and we inserted an image in here. Now, this is the important part. Behind that image, there is a URL, and that URL is basically the custom field that we're using. So that custom field is going to be populated by CineQ through the integration. So that's pretty much how you set up your email in MailerLite. So let's go over to our next section which is setting up the trigger campaign in CineQ as well as the integration so that it will send the personalized URLs to MailerLite. So in CineQ we need to go over to campaigns, click on campaigns. We already have a demo campaign set up in here just to get us started. And if we take a look at how the segmentation has been set up, we can see that we used a field called CineQ Camp Trigger, and that field needs to be set to send me MailerLite demo. This is very important when we set up a new contact in MailerLite because that's how that's going to trigger this CineQ campaign and ultimately generate the personalized video to the given um, contact. So if we look at the message we can see under personalization that this is a car insurance renewal letter and it has already been prepared now we're addressing the viewer by their first name and we're also using a temporary date field for displaying the the car insurance renewal date so that has already been set up the last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that this campaign is set up as a trigger based campaign We'll just use a date in the past. You can use uh, pretty much any date. It, it, it's just telling the system when you want this trigger campaign to be activated. So if you want to activate it immediately, then you can just set a date in the past. And we're going to set the end date for in the future because we don't know when we want to stop this campaign. So essentially the trigger is now set and the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the integration itself. So head over to data, click on integrations, and we will click on new integration and we'll find MailerLite. Here we go, click on create and click on this settings button. We need to go back to MailerLite and grab our API key in order to test the connection. So let's head over to MailerLite. The API key is under integrations and developer api so this is where we can grab our api key go back to cineq paste it in here and we click on test connection and the connection is successful so let's save this one just to make sure that we save the api key 
and let's set up the get member data section so there are two parts to this integration one the first part is pulling data from MailerLite into Sinecu and the second part the push member data is pushing the generated personalized URLs back to MailerLite so we need to set up both sides in order to make sure that we have a closed loop integration so we do need to enable the schedule and we want to run this at midnight say Sydney time and we do want to run it every single day and the unique identifier in MailerLite is email. So let's set the lookup field as email. And we are going to allow updating existing data. And let's do the field mapping. So email is going to be mapped to email. So on the left side, we can see the MailerLite fields that we have in the system. And on the right side, we can see the Sinecu fields. So we just need to do the mapping. Name is actually the first name. Let's map the last name and let's map the Sinecu trigger. And that will be the Sinecu camp trigger. That was the field that we used under the segmentation criteria. So that's very important. We also need to map the Sinecu date because we're going to transfer the Sinecu date from MailerLite to um, Sinecu, and we are going to use the temp date 01. So let's go over to the push side, and we do need to map the CRN as well as the personalized URL to this MailerLite personalized URL field that we created. So that's one of the custom fields. Campaign ID is also another custom field that we created in MailerLite. And I just remembered that I forgot to map the CRN field, which is very important. Otherwise the integration is not going to work. So let's go back to push member data. And yes, I believe that this is pretty much all we need. So click on save. And we can see that now we have a green circle indicating that this integration is pretty much set. So if we go back to campaigns, we can now go back to executions and over here on the right side, we can see active integrations for this campaign and we currently don't have any anything in here. So if we click on add, then now MailerLite is available in here. So over here, we're listing all the active integrations uh, for this particular account. So basically, now we set up the trigger campaign in Sinecu as well as the integration. So if we go back to MailerLite, then now we can set up the automation. So we already have an automation set up in here. So let's go into edit mode. Basically under automations, you just need to create a workflow. That's how you set up an automation in MailerLite. There are only two steps in this workflow. So the first one is, what it says is if the Sinecu campaign ID field is equal to, and we just need to make sure that that value matches the Sinecu campaign ID, which is up here in the URL. So that is different. So let's just copy that one and we'll paste it in here. Click save. So if so, if the Sinecu campaign ID field is equal to that particular value, then the email will be sent to all the contacts who meet that criteria. And that field value is coming from Sinecu through the integration. So let's turn activate this workflow and we go back. And the last thing we need to do is we need to create a new subscriber. So click on add subscriber and then click on add single subscriber. Click on more fields, last name demo, and we must set the CRN number. So let's say 61 and the Sinecu trigger, we have to go back to Sinecu and make sure that we get the correct value. So let's go back to the segment and we need to set the field to 
send me Miller Lite demo because that field, this field is mapped to the Sinecure camp trigger field and that's how we're going to be able to trigger the Sinecure campaign. So let's set the theoretical renewal, car insurance renewal date to say 2020-07-01. And we got the CRN number, we have the email, we have the first name and the last name. That's pretty much all we need. So let's click on add subscriber. And now if we go back to CineQ, what we need to do is we need to go to integration. If we want to run this, integration immediately then we need to click on the run now button otherwise it will kick off at midnight tomorrow so let's click on run now and what happens is this integration is now pulling the Melolite data so if we go to the members and we search for the there we go, we already have the record pulled into Sinecq, Sinecq demo plus MailerLite01. So that is our record. And if we check, if we check the camp, Sinecq camp trigger field, that is set to send me MailerLite demo. So that's exactly what is going to trigger the MailerLite campaign that we set up earlier. And if we go to executions, then we can see that it has already been executed. When we click on this icon over here or on that logo, Mailer Light logo, then we can see the API calls, the timeline, and you can see the, the, the payload. We can also check for any errors, but there is no errors in here. So we can go back to Mailer Light and we can expect the email to be sent out shortly. There we go. The email has already arrived. So let's click on it. That's the email that we built using MailerLite. And when we click on this button, it should take us to the CineQ landing page, which holds the personalized video. There we go. So it has been working as expected. And when we play this video, then we should see the personalization being on the video. Yep, we can see that it has been addressed correctly and the renewal date is also correct and when we click on the renew now button renew online button then it takes us to the Sinecu landing page which is exactly what we wanted to see so this is how you set up on end-to-end -end closed loop integration between MailerLite and Sinecu thank you for watching